Okay, guys, we're about to talk about these stocks going on a major discount. These stocks are oversold and ready. Make sure that you don't miss out on any of these updates, any analysis, any early seats by getting subscribed to the channel. And make sure that you meet us over at the Bank of Whitbilly Discord so you can get all of these alerts on time. I'm here trading with my team of analysts from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. all day, every day, bringing you guys a safe, easy, early seat along with my team of analysts, guys. You can follow along in any of our alerts, and you don't want to wait for any of us to throw out an alert. You can always follow along in the alerts from my bots throwing out the safe, easy, early seat, explosive plays all day, every day. And let's get right into it. So we got WNW going off of a major discount from $2.70 all the way down to the lows of $0.18. Cents. This thing has been bullish, and we've already made easy money off of WNW stock. Let me know in the comments below if you are still in there what your price average is and what your price target is this stock is still oversold on your weekly chart and down here your daily chart the bullishness is just now beginning with your red start indicator and closing the same setup same strategy every single trade you do not want to buy in when those things are expensive you want to get in when they are cheap this thing was expensive at 270 got as cheap as 18 cents before pushing up all the way to 26 cents and we'll take a closer look in on our 15 minute chart so you'll be able to see how this thing has been spiking up and it's holding on in the after with the bullishness with an average volume of 2.28 million the current volume in here is pushing on up to 5.09 million right now and still has a lot more room to grow do not miss out on any early seats every single one of these stocks is oversold and ready of course and we will check out the bank of wibbly discord to see what the discord has to say about this current stock right now like i said we've already made easy money off of w and w and about to go back in for another round looking for the stocks that are oversold and again make sure that you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these updates any analyses any oversold stocks that are about to reverse with the bullishness when you see me dropping these videos talking about these stocks guys and then they come out short so restricted and then explode all you have to do is see the video on time or follow along with the alert and again you don't have to follow along and my alerts you can follow along with any of the other experienced analysts in here throwing these plays and stocks options crypto hey pace and ryan been throwing crypto plays all day on the weekends easy money when you get over here make it over to the profit section where you'll be able to see where we are all locking the money in on these games left and right we make this money off a million plays in a million ways y'all know how this go next, um and let me know if you are in here and what your price target is okay next up we got caco this off of a major discount going from ten dollars 43 cents all the way down to 95 cents that bullishness is coming in very strong right now 95 cents this thing in the after hours made it up to a dollar 29 cents almost a dollar 30 with an average volume of five hundred seven thousand. the current volume gets up to almost one hundred thousand in here right now that volume is going to pick up and we're going to start seeing caco caco that's pacifico acquisition this thing is going to start taking off look here on our last day you can see how this is still holding on strong with the bullishness you don't want to mess out on any of these early seats as a swing trader you want to be looking at your daily chart and your four hour chart when you're a day trader you're going to be looking at your smaller time frames you want to get in you want to be looking at your one minute chart talking about getting in and out in seconds and whatnot right um volume does the volume does matter. I look at volume all day. The vol lower volume things mean it might be a longer swing, but they are very good to have a very quick spike when people notice this thing. Like this has an average volume of 507,000. Current volume only at 97,000 right now. That volume is going to pick up and meet back up with that average volume and start to outdo it. Once more people get loading, everybody's noticing this stock over. So MACD at the floor with your yellow MACD like prospect over your blue sitting line, your red start indicator and closes. This is the time to get in before that volume picks back up. We'll look at the Discord to see what the Discord has to say about CACO. Of course, looking for short sale restrictions, zero shares available to short. Make sure that you catch all videos in time. Been letting you guys know about CACO previously after noticing these short sale restrictions that have been going on this month okay these short sale restrictions turn into parabolic plays we know how this go man make sure that you follow along all the alerts and get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these updates and now it's early season let me know if you are holding into any of these and what stocks you are holding down in the comments below i'll analyze and break them down in the next one looking for price entries and price targets we got thrd another one that is oversold and ready going from 23 dollars all the way down with a massive sell off down to three dollars and eighty eight cents okay and as ours this thing is sitting at four dollars and forty cents with an average volume of three hundred and twenty nine thousand the current volume is getting up to two hundred thousand guys we're about to have a strong reverse come in and thrd as well want to look close in on your fire chart if you are going into these plays for the long-term investment every single one of these is so uh, you can get this is the time to get in every single one of these you're talking about the actual long-term investment if you're looking for the day trade some of these have lower volume you want to be day trading things with a higher volume for a higher volatility 
for a stronger liquidity. You can get in and out faster than things with a higher volume. These lower volume things are great for the safe swing trade, great for newer investors and traders who need to study still, who need to look into things. Analyze your charts. Um, guys, I'm in here studying all day, every day. It's never stopped. And we're getting more into options trading now. Um, I'm going to start making videos on our options trades. And in fact, in the Discord, down in the options alert section, I'll be making my own section down there for my options trade. I've been throwing out my options alerts in our swing trade section. But to make sure everything stays organized, I'll make a section down there as well. My favorite bots to follow along with are Momentum Bot and Hawk Bot. These are explosive plays. Let me know um, in the Discord what your favorite sections are. When you get in here, you definitely find your favorite section, whatever. Because we have all kinds of different styles of trading with so many different analysts and so many different bots and whatnot, guys. It's crazy in here, guys. We all loving it. So next, we got S and PX, guys, off of a major discount from $8 all the way down to that $0.96. Cents. This thing is pushing up to $1.23 and closes in the after hours with a very low average volume of $174,000. That current volume is up to $236,000. And this is straight bullishness that's coming in. We're on a weekly chart. We want to see closer on the day charts. You can see all of those green bars coming, all these green candlesticks. And if you're not trading with your candlesticks on your charts, I greatly recommend that you turn on your candlestick chart. Candlesticks give you a lot of powerful data in every single stick. You'll be able to see what the pressure is looking like if they're buying and loading, if you get good at reading your candlesticks. Guys, I can see all the data I need to see in this one day. But for you, we'll go to our 15 minute chart so we can see where the sell off came and where the buying came in. You can see here, started off with very low volume and then started to pile up with the buy orders. Some people locking that in real quick, probably day traders. Um, uh, probably day traders who are skeptical if this thing is going to continue to push on or not. Everything can use good catalyst. One piece of news can make these stocks take all the way off. You want to be in the early seat. You don't want to have to get in when it's too late and chase them up and whatnot. You want to get in where you can get in with no fear, no pressure, no anxiety. Sit in a safe early seat now. Maybe you got to wait a day or two. Maybe it swings overnight. But regardless, make sure you got your price target, your percentage target set. I recommend going for a percentage target over your price target. You go for your percentage target, you already should know exactly how much money you're going to be looking at, how much money you need to make off of that trade. If you got your goal set, you know, um, make sure you have your percentage target set. Like I go for 7 to 15%. So when we waking up, we seeing stocks up 50, 60s, hundreds of percents and whatnot. You know, those are just blessings. When the stock is about to start diving down, when it's overbought, make sure that you're locking in those games. I'll show you guys in a 15 minute chart exactly where you'll be able to find when these things are becoming oversold and overbought. You want to buy in when they are oversold. You want to sell and lock that in when it's overbought. People are going to be selling off in these time frames. Be mindful if you're a swing trader or a day trader. These things make a huge difference, okay? We got all right, BVXV, okay. Down at this major discount, guys. This one is going to probably take a This is a, a helpful latest stocks of Bionics Pharmaceuticals. These helpful latest stocks, guys, they are very good for the college. One piece of news will tear it all the way down. FDA approvals and stuff like that, if whatever medicine or drug that they're working on gets approved, then it will skyrocket. They make it into the next phase, phase two, is clinical trials and stuff like that. So we'll look further into BVXV in another video. I'll make a single video talking about that. We have to look through there pipelines and everything and see the true fundamentals on it with a lower volume right now when people do low in this they're going to be going for that longer term play sitting and waiting for a college to come in we see it's been picking up with the bullishness look on your 15 minute chart you see all in the last trading day this has been doing nothing but climbing up okay make sure that you pay attention to everything you want to check out your analysis order flow to see if big wells are buying in or selling out we see our inflow is out doing the outflow right now with no large scale wells coming in but we do have the mediums and smalls out doing the outflow going out. No, no large scale million dollar USD orders piling in just yet, but it's still good because we don't have any going out just yet. Like I say, they're going to get in here for that long term swing, waiting for a FDA approval or a next phase or whatever catalyst is coming. We got MMV. We made easy money off of MMV a couple times, man. This thing here is spiking. It was hotting and everything. All kinds of stuff going on in MMV. And let me know in the comments below if you are holding in on any of these, what your ticker is. I analyze and break it down in the next video. Looking for price entries and price targets of course so i'm going from 17.75 all the way down to 240 cents this thing has an average volume of 908,000. that current volume getting up to 1.31 million pushing on over that average volume people are in here for that swing and they're not selling this all the way off it go to your flower chart see all this green bars coming in here guys people getting in there for the easy quick check check this out your red star indicator in closing there still we're going to see that then when this red star indicator flips, we're going to see this take off. We'll go to the Discord to match these up with the alerts. If you've been following along, MMV has been halting. Momentum has been picking this thing up, all kinds of stuff. And, of course, I've been letting you guys know in recent videos that this is a hot play to be getting into. Sure enough, like just, just um the other day, we locked in 50% off of MMV. 
a quick ride up. You know what I mean? You see the alert for the long coyote price target set. It just, it just because I lock it in doesn't mean that you have to. You can have your own percentage targets. You know, it's up to the individual investors to decide if that stock has the fundamentals to keep on pushing on or not after the percentage targets are hit. Okay. And NMV is about to make another run because the sentiment in it is strong. You see how I feel about it. Everybody else feels the same right now. Why this is super cheap. We got ORMP. This thing off a major discount. It gapped all the way down from $13, probably even higher. In fact, let's go to a monthly chart on this. To see how high ORMP actually even has been up as high as thirty-one dollars before diving down to that two dollars seventeen cents. People are loading up now for that hot reversal. Okay, now we need more bullishness to come in. We'll go look at your analysis order flow really fast. We'll be able to see. We got more large scale wells coming in, large scales going out, and a large scale million dollar USD orders are piling up on the last trading day with an average volume of one million. This current volume pushes up to almost ten billion guys people are going to be watching this stock and getting in with the volume so high let's go to our 15 minute chart we're going to see volatility pick up people are going to be jumping in for that hot swing trade if we see this thing picking up with buy orders in the pre-market i'm using my rsa and my on my rsi indicator and my magd on every single trade the rsi tells me when something is overbought again you don't want to buy in these things while they were bought you want to get in while they are oversold and keep in mind that everything that's going on with these stocks and every other stock in these markets right now is while the markets are pushing up more bullish than bears with 4,000 advancers and 2,300 decliners okay um Oversold does turn overbought, but overbought always turns back into oversold. Meaning these green days with 4,000 advances will be turned into red days with 4,000 decliners to the free zone. And when the market starts to turn red and bleed out, if you're in those holdings in those sectors that are declining, you're going to see your holdings decline down too. While we got stocks that are pushing up so strong, hundreds and thousands of percents and whatnot, you want to make sure that you're locking in those gains. Have your stop losses set or whatever you got to do, okay? I'm a swing trader, bring you guys a safe, easy, early seat. Let me know if you're holding in on any of these plays guys and there are a lot more we can talk about check out my previous videos that i dropped talking about the best stocks that are oversold and again if you got any stocks that are about to explode right now let me know in the comments below because i don't want to miss out on any of this easy money as well i'm billy banks make sure that you get subscribed to the channel look forward to the next video and meet us up in the discord so you can get all of these alerts on time um i'll catch all you in there and happy trading